right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. Thank you so much for joining me again on this here Thursday, this here vlog day. I have a feeling this is going to be a long vlog and I'm going to try to do my best to condense everything down. So we're just going to jump right into it. First things first. Top of the program, of course, we're gonna talk about some beer. We're gonna do some shout outs. We have a couple of first impressions to do. Uh, we're gonna talk about retro vaping. We're gonna get in our vaping time machine and talk about the way that things used to be once upon a time. Um, I do have some music this week that I wanna talk about. I do have some viewer mail that I wanna do as well as a uh, very large giveaway at the end of this video. And I don't mean large like, um, a mech mod I mean large like large like multiple 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 winners um, but before we get to that we're gonna jump in we're gonna jump into this blog obviously yes thank you so much for joining me again the first thing I do want to talk about uh, as always is is beer um, but what have I been vaping this week what have I been vaping this week um, I have revisited the hexome um, I saw a lot of people recently talking about the hexome, and I recently revisited the hexome. So I, I grabbed out my hexome and I threw the tugboat on there. And this tugboat has a chuff sleeve and drip top on it. Um, it's just a it's tube with slots cut in it that gives it wicked, insane airflow, like almost too much airflow. But clouds, bro clouds um almost way too much airflow forgot kind of how much i mean i didn't forget but i i really enjoy uh using the hex home and i saw it on my shelf and i'm like huh i'm gonna use that right now and so that's what i've been using for the last couple days with that tugboat and that chuff sleeve additionally my love of box mods does not uh does not mend there i've been using that uh been using that box mod that i talked about last week just like crazy like you can't even believe it in fact i got some new batteries for it for the inside picked up these vape vaped vaped vamped vamped what the hell what kind of name is that vamped vapor cells 40 amp they are uh, 18650 size 2000 milliamp hour or ma i picked up i bought four of these from kidney puncher and uh I've been using two of them in this and the other ones in mech mods and so far they have been really, really nice batteries. Got the tugboat version two on there uh, with mom's pineapple cake. It's just been uh, it's just been fantastic. The juice that I had in my hexome was Vigilante's uh, Life of Pi. Oh, Life of Pi. Let's pair Life of Pi with mom's pineapple cake. I bet it's gonna be deliciousness. I might have to start mixing those juices together because that was freaking delicious as hell. Um, no matter. That's what I've been using. That's what I've been vaping. First thing we're going to do is talk about beer. So this beer I got, um, I went to my local place, Aloha Liquor, which has a wonderful beer selection. Also, I want to give a shout out to Society of Vape. Um, Chelsea gave me this hat at uh, ECC, and I never wear it because I think it's silly. Designated dripper. But it's cool, and I've just been rocking it for some reason um no big deal shout out society of vape got this beer at my local beer place uh this is a, a rogue brewery which uh notoriously at least in my experiences rogue is slightly overrated uh i don't really like a lot of their beers but they had the pumpkin patch ale and i really wanted to try it I haven't had a, a pumpkin patch ale or a pumpkin ale in a good long time much less a really good one so i'm hoping that this one uh hoping that this one uh Hoping that this one does something for me. Um, it hasn't scored very high on the beer rating sites as far as like uh, beer advocate goes, but I'm still wanting to try it. I'm still willing to try it. it. Smells really good. Of course, I'm gonna pour it into a tulip style glass right over my keyboard, which is uh, which is how you should pour beer right over your keyboard, right over your keyboard. Um, obviously, we're gonna get a good head on there, so I can uh, drink through it like a man mmm hey look at that a uh, little dark little dark in color pumpkin patch ale from rogue farms I'm very interested to try this in fact if I go over to the beer advocate site it is scored at an 85 percent which is a very good beer um, 
the description just says 25 IBU. I don't even know what that means. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, let's look at someone's review of it. Um, Caramel color ale, large foamy head. So far, he's correct. Good retention, some lacing. Aroma consists of caramelized malt, some well-balanced notes of pumpkin, cinnamon, and cloves. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for in a pumpkin ale. Um, well-balanced mix between some pumpkin notes. Uh, the body is average, good carbonation, really enjoyable pumpkin beer. So there you go. Here's a Rogue Farms pumpkin patch ale. Yeah, I get clove and cinnamon, strong clove, really strong clove, holy strong clove. Uh, right out. If you if you're into cloves. <laughs> Drink this beer, Rogue Farms Pumpkin Patch Ale. The clove, it's it's hitting me harder than the pumpkin is. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. I would definitely score that higher than an eighty-five. Um, that is that is a tasty, tasty beer. That is oh, nope, didn't drip on it. That is a tasty, tasty beer. Holy crap, that is good. Rogue Farms, Pumpkin Patch Ale. There you go. Rogue redeeming themselves a little bit. I've never been a really big fan of Rogue. I kind of feel like they're overrated a little bit. Um, but this Pumpkin Patch Ale is really nice. I'm going to have to go get some more of this before the season ends. Mmm. Mmm. Holy crap. That upfront clove flavor is redonkulous. Um, yeah. So I'll post a link in the description. Rogue Pumpkin Patch Ale. I'm a beer advocate where you can check it out. Go buy your local... Uh, your local uh, liquor store, beer place, Bevmo, or Total Wine, or something like that, and uh, and yeah, uh, jump on it. Uh, so we do have some shout outs to do. Um, first shout out is uh, Mark, uh, a guy named Mark, emailed me and says, "Hey Nick, I was wondering if you could do me a huge favor and give a shout out to Jordan, Nadia, and Peter at the e-cigarette club here in Lisburn, Northern Ireland." Uh, it is their vape shop's first birthday this week. Uh, they are the greatest people in the best shop here in the whole of Northern Ireland. Uh, and they live and breathe vaping. I know it would mean the world to them if you can give them a plug. They love your vids and watch you religiously. Absolutely, Mark. Uh, there you go. Consider yourself shouted out, Jordan, Nadia, and Peter of the e-cigarette club in Lisburn, Northern Ireland. Uh, let's see. Moving forward. Random... Uh, randomly awesome fan request. So this girl, Nicole, emails me and says, Hello, Grim, I have a random request. My husband, Chris, uh, on Facebook, the Chal on Twitter, <laughs> is a huge fan and he watches your vlogs and happens to be selling his birthday, birthday on October 5th. Too late. And I was wondering if you could maybe surprise birthday hello. Uh, I'm sending him to a vape meet in Chattanooga and I think maybe a birthday shout out from you would be the I think, Ice I think. Icing on his toot life birthday. Vaping has become a huge part of his life. My husband was a smoker from the moment I met him and swore to me before we had our kids that he would quit. He didn't, did he? Ooh, Nicole, he didn't quit, did he? Well, it would, uh, well, it would always be a week or two tops, then he found his way, way right back to cigarettes. Luckily, shortly after our town got its first vape shop, he went in and found a super knowledgeable sales associate, hooked him up with a pretty good starter kit, mods, good juice. He hasn't smoked a cigarette since. Uh, now he gets to enjoy the techie side of it, have fun with it, all the rebuildable stuff. Anyway, long story short, my husband is the most amazing person I have ever known. Vaping has helped our family tremendously and given him a cool new hobby. He is a huge fan. Totally understand if you can't, but it would be awesome to see his reaction to a little birthday love. Uh, I apologize, Chris. I missed your birthday. It was on uh, it was on October fifth. So happy birthday! I hope you had a good. I uh, hope you had a good birthday. I hope you had a good meet down there in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hope you got to meet Demetrius. Um, yes. Uh, additionally, uh, I, I I had messaged Nicole and I said he sounds like a stand up guy. Uh, she says he is literally the only person I've ever known that doesn't have a single person that doesn't like him. <laughs> He's only, <laughs> I don't even want to read that sentence again. He's literally the only person I've ever known that doesn't have a single person that doesn't like him. Vaping is such an awesome thing for him. It's pretty exciting. Uh, he has a mighty beard. Um, I must say I'm, I'm, I'm jealous of your beard, sir. Uh, you do have a mighty beard. You actually look like a, a guy that I would want to hang out with. Um, so I'm, if I've ever in Tennessee or Chattanooga or if you're near there, um, 
we'll have to hang out and uh, and drink beers or, or something or just vape. Oh, you're in Georgia. Um, not sure when I'll get to Georgia, but Chris, happy birthday. Uh, your wife clearly loves you and cares about you very, very much. Uh, keep growing your beard. It's, it's awesome and mighty. Uh, I had another one. Uh, one more shout out. Oh, that's okay. Uh, so this guy writes and says, Hi, Nick. My name is Todd, and I'm the owner of Fusion Mods and inventor of the hybrid adapter. I'm emailing you about a local YouTube reviewer, rebuilder, safety advocate. His name is Nick, and he runs Daily Vape TV on YouTube. Let's click the link. Oh, yeah, Daily Vape TV. I know Daily Vape TV. And he also teaches builds to locals and works with local vendors to help teach battery safety to everyone in our area. He also works with Spin Fuel Magazine. It doesn't stop there. He also taught some classes at VCC and E back in June. Anyway, I think he deserves a shout out. I hope maybe a small mention in one of your blogs could help his viewer base and raise awareness. I understand if you can't. It's also important to me that he has no idea I'm emailing you. <laughs> well, we kind of uh, ruined that surprise there, Mr. Uh, TJ Hook. But uh, but yeah, uh, Nick, Daily Vape TV, uh, I see you on Tumblr all the time. I visit your blog on Tumblr regularly, and I'll post a link in the description to your YouTube video because it sounds like you're doing uh, a lot of good work. I don't know if possibly we have ever met, if we've ever been at the same event together, but... Uh, but if not, um, I think uh, sounds like uh, Todd thinks you're a really good guy, Nick, and uh, I have no reason to believe otherwise. And one thing that I really like, as far as uh, one thing that I really like, as far as uh, shout out requests, and I know I mentioned last week about shout out requests and this, that, and the other. Um, I like it when people uh, want other people to get shout outs. Um, when people email me and they say. Hey man, my name's Bill. Uh, I really like your videos. You should give me a shout out. I'm like, ah, okay. But if someone emails me and they're like, hey, my brother, he's a huge fan. Uh, he doesn't want to email you and bother you, but he really likes vaping and he wants to open a store and you should give him a shout out. I really like that much more. And that's going to tie into the giveaway a little bit later, but I really like it when people put other people first. Um, that's not to say that I won't give you a shout out if you're just like, hey, shout me out. Um, but I, I really, it tugs at my heartstrings a little bit more when people request other people, uh, other people to get shouted out. And that's, that's, uh, that's kind of what makes me happy. Um, so we've talked about beer so far and we've done shout outs. Now I have two products. It's time to do some first impressions. This pumpkin patch ale is freaking delicious. I'm going to need to go buy like three more bottles of this because it's so good. That clove flavor is really intense. Mm. So first things first on the old uh, first impressions chopping block. I don't know what that means. Um, got a rebuildable atomizer here. A guy named Jeremiah sent it to me. Uh, I talked to Jeremiah on Facebook, and he sent it over my way. And then when I searched for this re uh, particular rebuildable atomizer, I couldn't find it anywhere. I found it on Vapor Kings uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's called the Sovereign. Do you see this thing? Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these like crown claws up here. It reminds me a lot of the Crown rebuildable atomizer. Same, like, very, very exact same idea as far as airflow control. There's big holes, smaller, 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 just tiny, and then big hole again. Um, it's set up to do dual coils. This is a, I don't know what build I have on here right now, actually, and that, uh, that upsets me, and I'm not going to be able to get this thing off of here. Oh, yeah, I can. I don't know what I was so worried about. I'm going to hook it up to my uh, ohm reader, which, uh, oh, it's at 0 0.25. See that? 0 0.25 ohms. Um, so perfect, perfect resistance for a mech mod. I find that uh, with mech mods, that's that's the resistance that I want to use is 0 0.25 ohms. Uh, I just, uh, I like it. I think it's great. Uh, it's, it's, it's warm. Pardon me. 
it's warm but it's not too warm I held this sideways so now it's leaking and I have to line the holes back up and I have to good god man oh god there's gonna go juice everywhere okay so yeah now that that crisis is averted Sovereign rebuildable atomizer three posts small deck uh, it's 22 millimeters around let's just read what it says on the website authentic authentic sovereign RDA by alpha industry uh, this is a unique rebuildable atomizer made in the Philippines the striking crown top gives it a very interesting look but also serves as adjustable airflow control 2.5 millimeter drip well holds a lot of liquid standard 510 connection negative contacts are part of the deck not screwed in or spot welded which means they are very solid hmm it also features two millimeter wire holes Yep, I built this with 24 gauge. Recessed airflow control cap rings made from food grade stainless steel include stainless steel pond drip tip shown in the photo. Please note that the tips of the crown are slightly pointy. They are slightly pointy. I put a different drip tip on here, but it comes with this. It comes with that monster. Um, I didn't really like that drip tip. Uh, I had get, been getting juice in my mouth, and so I switched it to a much more uh, wide bore drip tip, but uh, I just built this today and it's uh, so far it's been quite, quite nice. I, I do have to burp chic, I apologize right now. <clears throat> Robin, apologize to, apologize to chic. I flooded the hell out of this thing. There's so much juice in here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> really good um the flavor is nice the performance is nice i do really like the airflow i found that if your adjustment rings are not really well lined up then you're gonna get some uh well you're gonna get some whistling is what's gonna happen You're going to get a little bit of whistling there. Just a little bit of whistling. It's not, you know, the end of the world or anything, but there's a little bit of whistling. It's nice. It's nice. Um, I kind of like the look of it. I mean, it's pointy. Like, uh, <laughs> it's pointy on there. Let me get you some, uh, let me get you some, some on the, on the spot up closey. It is pointy. Do you see how pointy that is? It's a pointy, pointy thing. This is the sovereign, and those spines are pointy on there. This looks like something like if this was black or gray or something. It looks like that something that like an orc would vape or like Saruman would vape. Um, that's just what it reminds me of. But so far, it's been good. It's a nice, easy deck to build on. Um, three post design in there, like I said. Obviously, I will report back later with how the sovereign. Uh, holds up in the real world how many times I poke my fingers how many times I poke my face um, it's a unique looking atomizer it doesn't look like anything that I have or anything kind of that's out there really and it's kind of a nice change you know what I mean there's a lot of rebuildable atomizers out there that are kind of just uh, they look like you know like this is boring but that's I mean that's custom but that's boring it performs nice even the big dripper it just looks like a thing uh, also, Big Dripper update. This is a new Big Dripper. Really should have said this at the beginning of the show. Uh, they sent me uh, they sent me a new Big Dripper, and I got a dual coil in there. Oh, there it goes. There. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and it's been redonkulous. It's been fantastic. Um, it performs as it should it works as it should uh, I filled up the tank and emptied it many many times I've only had this for like two days but I've emptied it and used it there's no crud on the spring there's no crud on the inside the, the evidently the newer versions of the big dripper are uh, are free from all of that nonsense that I that I noticed in my video holy crap did you hear that whistle I bet dogs all over the world are just going crazy right now. Did you hear that whistle? How do I get rid of that? I've never heard that before. Okay, I guess it's kind of gone now.
One thing I found with the Big Dripper is that it's a great performer. The airflow is a little tight because it has to travel up through the center, kind of like a K-Fun. So I don't drag as hard. And if I found if I drag really hard, it sucks juice right up into my mouth. Um, that's the Vulcan Drip Tip on there. Looks pretty nice. And I found it just sucks juice right into my mouth. So I tend to draw a little bit lighter with this. I built this with 24 gauge canthal. It's right around the same, uh, right around the same ohms, around 0 0.25 ohms. Holy crap! That whistling is obnoxious, and I kind of never noticed it before. Hmm, no big deal. That's weird. Um, so yeah, that that sovereign, that big dripper sovereign. Last first impression. I need a battery. I'm gonna get my other uh, vamped, vamped vapor cell. Oh, I need an atomizer too. What am I doing? Is this amateur hour? Let me grab my Patriot. Oh, I'll need juice too. Good God, man. Ugh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Uh, gotta get an atomizer, gotta get some juice. Um, I have a mech mod here that I want to talk about before we get into the retro vaping. You see this? Can you see what this says? This is the GNOME. This is the GNOME version 2. Um, it's got a fancy... Okay, well we're gonna need to do some on-the-fly up-close time here. We're gonna need to do some on-the-fly up-close time. For those listening on SoundCloud, I'm showing off the GNOME version 2. That's the GNOME version 2 switch. You see that? It looks like a gear. Presses right in. Magnetic switch in there. It's nice and soft and springy. It actually feels really good. I was kind of worried when I first saw this about maybe this wouldn't feel so good, like this ridges, but uh, you kind of don't even really notice them, honestly. Truly and honestly, you don't even notice them. Magnetic switch in there. Uh, it has the annoying adjustment on the top cap, which the GNOME version 1 had, and I don't really care, but it's just... It's one of those. It's the way that you have to adjust for battery rattle. You adjust this out, or in, or out, depending on uh, depending on what battery and atomizer you're using. Um, I'm going to be using it right now with the Patriot version two, which I've never done a video for, but it is a highly, highly decent rebuildable atomizer. The only reason I haven't done a video for it is because uh, the guys at uh, V3 Tronics gave me this at uh, VaporCon West. And he's like, here you go. You don't have to do a review. We're not carrying these, but here you go. So I was like, oh, okay. So you're not carrying them, but there you go. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to eyeball the adjustment for battery rattle. Mm, maybe something like that. Because you want it to sit flush. Oh, I eyeballed that pretty good. Um, I love the clean lines of the GNOME. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I loved it, loved the GNOME version 1 so much. It was just so clean. Um, the, the switch on the top, the top cap, the atomizer, it's all just, it's all just very clean. Will it fire? Oh yes, it'll fire. I just think it looks cool. I think it looks, I mean, look how clean it is. It just looks cool. It looks clean. I like the way that the switch is just kind of there. So this this might be out by the time uh, this might be out by the time this I'm gonna link in the description um, this is, comes from Vapors Knoll but the only place I could find it online uh, was Kidney Puncher. <laughs> uh, looks to be a hundred dollars for the gnome um, and I'll post links in the descriptions to all of these products, but it looks to be $100 GNOME version 2 mechanical mod, 22 millimeter width, 18650, 18650 solid bronze tube, stainless steel, stainless, can I talk tonight? Stainless steel 304 top and bottom cap, silver plated pins, magnetic switch that should never misfire. Every switch should never misfire. That's, uh, that's not a selling point. Individually serialized on the oh so awesome button. Mine's not serialized, you bastards. Mine just says gnome, the vapor's null. Oh, okay, it says grim green. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I feel like an asshole now because they did engrave grim green on there. And uh, you know what? In the future, number 42. 
any mod that you're ever going to send me. I just want number 42. I don't even care. I just want number 42. But this says uh, this says Grim Green. So thank you, Vapors Null, for engraving my tiny name on there. Non-locking deep throw flush cog button. This is called a cog button. Um, individually serialized. Oh, I already read that. Uh, M201 threading. Dedicated box with foam cutouts. <laughs> That's a selling point. Uh, designed 100% by the Vapors Knoll. Uh, so yeah, I mean, shoot, 100 bucks, 100 bucks for the Gnome. I uh, I liked the Gnome version one. I still use my Gnome version one, and now this is the Gnome version two, which will, I mean, chances are good that this will replace replace my Gnome version one in my. Uh, and this is my literal or first impressions. I've never even put a battery in this yet till till just now. Oh man. It hits so hard. It hits like a like a bus duct taped to a freight train colliding with the space shuttle on the moon. Hits good. Hits well. I really I actually really like that button. For anyone listening on SoundCloud, I'm just uh I'm just making clouds, bro. Huh. It's nice. Um, that animal, carnage animal juice, um, I have a feeling is not going to pair well with the pumpkin patch. Nope. Mom's pineapple cake, on the other hand. Yeah. Also, no. There's very few vapes that pair really well with certain beers. Um, I was hoping to put together some sort of guide, like beer and juice guide, Um I was going to enlist the help of Ruby Ruby because she's like the vape pairing, like back at you with another video pairing genius. Um, but I, uh, we kind of just never moved forward on that, which maybe we should move forward on that. But yeah, gnome version two, obviously so far so good. I will report back via full YouTube video on how the gnome version two holds up in real life in the real world. Um, interested to see how this bronze starts smelling. After a while, I don't I don't want it to smell like a like a penny, which I have a feeling it's already starting to kind of smell like a penny. Yeah. There you go. Gnome version 2. So we did the first impressions of the Gnome version 2 and the Sovereign rebuildable dripping atomizer. What's next? Nostalgic retro vaping. So, I might have an intro for this and I might not. But if I do have an intro for this, it's gonna go here. So I was cleaning out a bunch of stuff today and this additionally is all sort of leading up to the big giveaway at the end of the show. Um, I was cleaning out a bunch of stuff today and I found, uh, I found uh, some old, uh, some old vape gear. I mean, old vape gear, old juice, old vape gear. So I was kind of like, hey, let's do a little bit of a uh, sort of throwback history lesson type of thing. And uh, let's just vape some really old shit because there's a lot of people who are getting into vaping now that don't quite know how it used to be back in the dark times of 2009 and 2010. So what I found, and this is unbelievable that this even still exists, uh, this, is, this came from Pure Smoker. PureSmoker.com, Risky US, <laughs> 36 milligram. 36 milligram? I can't believe I'm going to vape this. 36 milligram. The problem is, I don't believe this to be risky use. I, re I think I remember the situation around this. They had some other tobacco juice. Cash tab. Cash tab. And it came in the wrong bottles. Um, and so I bought a bunch of them because I liked that juice so much. Because it doesn't smell at all like Risky Use. Like Risky was an RY4 type of flavor. In fact, I have a video review somewhere of the Risky Use way back from 2009. So what I'm going to be vaping this on, what I'm going to be vaping this 36 friggin' milligram juice on is this. <laughs> 
Do you see this? Once upon a time, this is all we had. This is an atomizer. You bought these from Joytech. Uh, this is a low resistance atomizer. And once upon a time, you put a cartridge in here. So you put foam or something in there and it would touch the bridge and wick down and you vaped it on your little pen style electronic cigarette battery. Unfortunately, uh, I only have one of those and I don't know where it is. So what I'm going to be vaping this atomizer on is this and I'm hoping to God that it still works. This is my very first silver bullet that I ever got. Um, it was a black silver bullet. I got this in 2010. Uh, I'm gonna say June of 2010. Where were you June of 2010? Because I was getting a black silver bullet and Alt Smoke still sells the silver bullet. In fact, I'll post the link in the description to not only the silver bullet, but to my old video for the old silver bullet that wasn't even mine that someone lent me that I did a review for and then I got the uh, and then I got the black silver bullet which doesn't make very much sense. Um, it's got a wired switch in there, so sub-ohming is probably not an option, but I'm gonna use my sub-ohm cell 18650 in there. And back then, we didn't even have these batteries. We just had ultrafire batteries, and that's it. And then, and then people discovered the AWIMR batteries, yeah. And people were freaking out going, oh, AWIMR batteries, AWIMR batteries, these are so much better, so much better. In fact, even for more nostalgic vaping. So I've got my 510 atomizer on a silver bullet. What year is it? It feels like it's 2009 right now. This is uh, one of the oldest drip tips that I own. This is the old Pure Smoker zip tip. Um, Super T Manufacturing, I believe, were the first people to ever create drip tips. Um, they coined the term drip tip, and I have an old, 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 old video of their brass drip tips, which I still have one of them. I just don't know exactly where it is. Um, Pure Smoker did their own zip tips uh, much later in 2010, I believe around the uh, St. Louis Vape Fest they had these. And so this is what this this is what I used to vape. This is exactly, exactly what I used to vape. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drip some of this Pure Smoker 36 milligram. I don't know if this is going to fire or not. I, I'm really hoping this fires. I'm just going to drip some of this juice in here. I don't think this is going to work. I can hear it. I can hear it atomizing. Ooh, I can hear it. Oh, this is old school. This is so old school, I can't even fathom how any of us were able to use this stuff. Oh, God. That is strong. That is strong. That is strong. 36, man. That ain't messing around. The flavor is actually pretty good. Um, this is what we used to vape. All of us. Everybody used to vape this. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't even take that. See, this is what we call a flooded atomizer. Yep, you see it leaking? Atomizers used to just leak out of the bottom and then you had to wipe up all your shit and then uh, you had to take your atomizer off all the time, I mean on a daily, blow it out to get all that extra juice out of there. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in a time machine right now. This is unreal. So the the moral of this story, I'm going to lick my mod here. The moral of this story is uh, cherish the way that we vape now. Cherish the fact that you can rebuild an atomizer and that you can rebuild a tank because once upon a time, those things did not exist. And this is what we were using. We bought low resistance atomizers like by the dozens and we used them on unregulated 3.7 volt batteries and that was this was like the pinnacle of vaping so i got a hair in my mouth be thankful be thankful that you can rebuild your tugboat and rock it on a dna30 device be thankful that you can rebuild your kfun and rock it on a copper pin plated mech mod um, because 
those things are amazing and this this is what we had oh yeah throat hit holy throat hit I haven't said this in a while reckless reckless throat hit And that was it. I mean, that was the uh, that was the most clouds that you could ever get. And that doesn't even compare. I can take a, like a point two second toot on this and get just as much as if I take a double long long toot on this. That was it. That was clouds, bro. This is night. This is 2010 clouds, bro. This is earlier than that. This is 2009 clouds, bro. Oh my gosh! And then watch, just five seconds. The difference is unbelievable. The access to the vape gear we have now is ridiculous. And uh, you know what I mean? Be thankful. Be thankful that there were certain pioneers and people like Scott back then uh, who, were, uh, who were vaping this stuff and uh, who were reviewing it. I did a review of the Silver Bullet. I've done reviews of low resistance atomizers. I've done reviews of these zip tips. They all exist somewhere. And even it, it was probably less performing than what you just saw because this is a really good battery in here. <clears throat> right, Robin? Once upon a time, like I said, all we had were Surefire, Ultrafire batteries. Like 4000 Ma Surefire batteries. And that's what we had and that's what we used. And we liked it and we loved it. We still went to Vape Meets. I've taken this exact setup to Vape Meets before. I don't know if my Radder and Recklesser Midwest Vape Fest experience video still exists on YouTube, but if you can find it, watch it because I'm vaping an Omega from Alt Smoke and a low resistance 510 atomizer in that video. It's ridiculous. Um, we have come a really long way. So there you go. That's some that's some nostalgic nostalgic vaping for you. Uh, this is going to run way too long, but. I do want to talk about music real quick, and I do want to talk about the big giveaway that's happening. So first up on the music scene, went and saw this band live. Oh, they played with Gojira. They played with Mastodon. They are called Caveller Talk, and that is Norwegian for chokehold. They are baller. They're just amazing. I'm going to play a little bit of it. And you need to watch. You need to watch this whole video because it really represents their live show really, really well. Uh, they're just crazy. The singer came out with this bird mask on, this owl with the wings, and they show that in this video. Fucking just a super cool band. Super cool band. Both their albums are fan freaking tastic. Of course, uh, I'll link uh, in the. Uh, growing playlist down there vlog music slash bands I'm going to add it to it right now Caveller Talk, holy crap they're so good, next band that I want to talk about was from a Caveller Talk radio station that I created on Pandora this band is called Varg oh Varg. Varg is good. And this isn't Varg like Varg Vikernes who used to burn down churches and murder his bandmates. This is Varg the band. I'm assuming they're from Norway. They're described as black pagan metal, uh, which is always fun. Varg, holy crap, so good. If you're into the if you're into the metal stuff, if you're into like the Cavellertack style metal stuff, you got to check out Varg. You got to check out Varg. I'm adding them to the playlist. I want everybody to listen to Varg. I'm going to try to pirate their CD now. If I can't find it, I'm just going to buy it on iTunes. 
Last band I want to talk about before we get to the giveaway and possibly some viewer mail. Um, I have been loving this band, Royal Blood. They are just, oh, oh so good. I love them. I will listen to this album and then just we just keep listening to it. It doesn't even matter. But this song's called Out of the Black. Oh. So good. They are good. They are just They are just a good band and the guy sings uh just wonderfully. And uh, Royal Blood has been getting, I mean, quite, quite popular. They've been getting played on the radio a lot, but they are still really good. Um, this whole album, like I said, is just fantastic. This chorus coming up. Holy crap, it's so good. It's so catchy, so catchy, so, so good. Royal Blood, highly Highly recommend listening to uh, highly recommend listening to Royal Blood. Before this vlog gets gets way too long, uh, I am going to uh, let me do at least one viewer mail. Viewer mail. I will post links in the descriptions to where you can listen to those bands. Additionally, I do have a playlist on my main YouTube profile that is all of the bands that I have ever featured in any in any vlog uh, that I've ever done. Um, so, first uh, first viewer mail. Let's ask. Let's talk to Douglas. Uh, Douglas says I am starting out with dripping, and I'm thinking about getting a mod like the Tesla or maybe the Vamo. Is this a repeat from last week? I wasn't sure if work would it would work out well, or just get a normal mech that isn't VVVW. I just like regular, just like the regulated. Basically, I can choose where I want my vape, put it where I like. If any of that makes sense, I've been following you for a bit. You seem like you know what you're doing. <laughs> I thought I would ask your opinion. Thank you, Douglas, uh, for that comment. You seem like you know what you're doing. If I could title the vlog anything. I would title it uh, Grim Green, You Seem Like You Know What You're Doing. Um, I'm glad it seems like I know what I'm doing. I like to possibly think that I know what I'm doing. Um, there are some very good regulated mods out there. Um, one that I have used a lot in the past and continue to use is a Skelly 100 watt. It's fantastic. This is just going to be a repeat of the question I had last week. Maybe check out the Hexome. Maybe check out the Duke. Maybe check out the Segeli 100 watt. Maybe check out the uh, Inakin Eye Taste SVD version 2 that comes with an authentic DNA 20 Evolve chip in its variable wattage up to 20 watts. I would honestly avoid the Vamo or the Tesla. They're fine. They are just quite outdated considering the Tesla only goes up to 12 watts and the Vamo only goes up to 10 or 12 watts or something like that. Um, but yeah, so maybe something like the Hexome, maybe something like the uh, Duke, maybe something like the Segeli 100 watt. Even if you're not going to use all 100 watts, it still has plenty of power. Dual 18650s, you'll get plenty, plenty of battery life on it. Segeli 100 watt. That's what I would. That's where I would go with that, Doug. Um, let's see, Eric. Oh, er Oh, this is uh, a. <laughs> so this is Eric from Enjoy. Um, yeah. So Enjoy. I, okay, this isn't really a viewer mail. Uh, recently, Enjoy launched the uh, artist collection, and he attached a video that's six minutes long. So obviously, we're not going to watch the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to put a link to this. In the description because I do feel like it's a pretty important thing to talk about. Uh, Enjoy is selling liquid now. They're doing this project called the Artist Collection. It's not going to be out for a couple more weeks, he says, but we put out a website and a film to get people talking and get pre orders started. So there you go. Uh, Eric from Enjoy, who I, uh, I've met. Uh, I met him on two occasions, actually. Um, Super nice guy, and uh, there's kind of this really super common misconception going around um, that Enjoy is associated with Big Tobacco, and uh, they are not, 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 not uh, associated with Big Tobacco. Ask Stefan. Stefan has defended Enjoy into the ground um, everywhere on the internet, including uh, Reddit, 
Enjoy has nothing to do with Big Tobacco. In fact, they've uh, filed multiple lawsuits and lobbied multiple, multiple times against the FDA and against the FDA regulations. They have nothing to do with Big Tobacco. And they're releasing uh, a big uh, a big artist collection juice line. So, yeah, there you go. I'll post a link to the video, and I'll, let's look at the website. I haven't seen the website. I am over 18. Um Introducing the artist collection, sophisticated, masterful taste sensations. It looks cool, oh, cool art. Weird names. Dragonscape. Hedon's Bite. Samba Sun. Sweet. I like it. Uh, I like it. That's cool, man. Um, I don't. So here's the thing, Eric, and don't take this personally, and enjoy, don't take this personally. The logo is uh, awful. Having the upside-down artist and then the collection the correct way is a terrible logo. <laughs> oh, that's a bad logo. Terrible logo. Uh, really bad logo. But, uh, but thank you, Eric, for sending that my way. And I'll post links in the description uh, to, uh, to that website. There's one more. What was his name? I thought it was that one. I thought I just clicked on this one. Oh, Josh. His name was Josh. I'm new to your YouTube channel, and I love what you're doing there. Sorry if you get similar messages from me on YouTube, but it said it didn't go through. Oh, well. Anyways, I'm loving the reviews. They are always on point, and I'm really digging the vlogs, too. Great banter and great music and tattoo talk. Tattoo talk. If you have the chance, I make some music that I'd love for you to listen to. Uh, yes, he does, uh, and it's good. Uh, I had already pre-screened this uh, email. Well, let me click the link. He linked me to his Facebook, but then all I did was link to his SoundCloud. So I'll post the link in the description to his SoundCloud. But he plays like not quite Angel Vivaldi style uh, progressive instrumental like metal like that. But it's... It's close. It's very Angel Vivaldi-ish. It's good. I mean, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. So I'll post the link in the description, Josh. Thank you for uh, bringing that to my attention. Uh, you're clearly very, very talented when it comes to the guitar. And uh, yeah, I'll post the link in the description to where you can listen to his band, Saturna. Saturna? Saturna. So yeah, Saturna. Thank you, thank you, Josh, for that. That was very, very cool. Um, okay, I want to... I shouldn't have jumped into the viewer. I shouldn't have jumped into the mails like that. It's no big deal. Um, what I want to do now is talk about my giveaway. Now, this is, vlog is running really long, and if you made it the whole way, then now you get to learn about the big, the big, the big, big giveaway. So, where do I start? Where do I even start? Um, let's just talk about things that exist. Um, Obviously, I've been doing the vaping videos for almost six years now. January 2015, it'll be six solid years of vaping and nearly six solid years of doing YouTube videos, which is ridiculous. I've met amazing people. Um, I've got to vape amazing products and taste amazing juices. I've organized events. I mean, my life has been absolutely changed uh, by vaping and by the community and it's one of those times that around Thanksgiving that, you know, I you want to give back. And so I'm going to give a bunch of stuff away. I get a lot of, I get a lot of stuff. And some of it I use and give away. Um, some of it I use and keep. Some of it I use and give away. And so, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm insanely grateful, uh, obviously, to vaping and to the vaping community. And so that's that's kind of why we're doing this. And it's it's the Thanksgiving time. Um, I'm looking off to the side now and I see... I'm, let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve packages sitting right there. They're all boxed up. Um, they're full of starter kits there's a couple starter kits for beginners and tanks uh some iClear 30s's some iClear 30b's in there as well and it goes all the way up to uh like the beyond vape solera dna 30 is in there packed up uh with a beyond vape um silo tank there are rebuildable atomizers in there the infinite clt is in there um these are big products uh the beacon is in there as well um the King clone is in there as well. Um, 
a lot of rebuildable atomizers, a lot of tanks, one DNA 30, a lot of mech mods. There's a Stingray with that's packed in with one of my favorite new atomizers, the Orion from Araya Made. Um, these are products that have come in and were not necessarily extras. Some of them were extras, some of them are stuff I've used, like the Solera. And I don't need them anymore. And I want to pay them forward to the community, to you, to you guys. And so, so what we're gonna do, the way that this is gonna work is to enter you don't get to enter yourself. Confused? A little bit. Clove. Clove for days. You don't get to enter yourself. The spirit of this is that you're going to enter somebody else. And I've been alluding to this in the whole vlog. You're going to enter somebody else. If you have a family member, a brother, a dad, a best friend, a you know, life partner, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your lady friend, your man friend, someone that you think deserves a new mod or someone that maybe can't afford to get a starter kit or maybe someone who has a kit but they don't want to buy anything new because they can't quite afford it. Maybe they want a Stingray mech mod, which is in there, but they can't afford it. Um, that's who I want you to nominate. I don't want you to nominate yourself. I want you to nominate someone else, someone who's special to you and someone who you think deserves new vape gear, okay? So you're gonna email me, contest at grimgreen.com, contest at grimgreen.com. Um, you'll get an automated response back, but this is basically gonna run for two solid weeks. On Thanksgiving Day, I will be uploading a vlog and I will be announcing uh, the winners and who nominated them, okay? And then I'm gonna head to the post office and send out all these packages that are all sort of pre-packaged in there. Yeah, there's and there's a, there's a couple that have multiple things. Like I'm looking right now at the King 26650 box, uh, it has a K-Fun clone in it and a Smoke Tech RSST. Um, they're all gonna come with bottles of Namor juice and they're all gonna come with Grim Army stickers on the inside. So that's, I feel like that's pretty cool. I have a feeling this is gonna be really, really cool if you know someone, loved one, like I said, friends, man friend, girlfriend, husbands, wives, who you think deserve new vape gear or who want to vape but don't vape yet, um, nominate them and tell me why they need vape gear and uh, obviously I'm just going to go through how many do I say I have? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so I have 12 packages that means 12 winners um, the cutoff date for this we're going to call it Saturday Saturday the 22nd is the cutoff date. Saturday, November 22nd is the cutoff date. So it's gonna run from my Thursday vlog on November 6th, November 6th. It's gonna go for two weeks, oh pardon me, it's gonna go for two weeks and the cutoff date is Saturday, November 22nd. Get all your emails in by then. I'll pick a winner, shoot a vlog, and it will get uploaded on the, uh, on the 27th of November, I'm gonna pick 12, 12 lucky people during this time of Thanksgiving to get free vape gear from someone else who who thinks that they need it, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? We're all, we're all on the same page now, and it's, you know, it's a lot of cool stuff. Some of it's some Inokin click stuff. I mean, I have some stuff for, for beginners who have never vaped, for intermediate people who vape but want something new, and then for some advanced people who, you know, they're stuck with their ego twist and they really want a rebuildable atomizer, there's a good chance that we can get them a rebuildable atomizer. Um, I like the idea of this. If you want to share this idea with anybody else, um, then I've been using the hashtag, uh, or I'm going to start using the hashtag uh, Grimm's Big Give. And I'm going to post this on social media as well. I'm going to make a quick little 
Instagram video of it, hashtag Grimm's Big Give. Nominate someone that you love who you think deserves vape gear because that's what that's what the holidays are about. That's what Thanksgiving about is about thinking of someone other than yourself. And that's that's where we're going. That's where we're going with this giveaway. Does that make sense to everybody? This vlog is gonna be way too long. But uh, that's where I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know what's coming up next week. We do have a lot of stuff. I'm getting into my fun ECC stuff, obviously. Um, next week, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure what is coming up next week. I haven't even thought that far ahead. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get some 36 milligram, maybe risky use, maybe non-risky use. I'm going to drip a couple drops in here. I'm going to enjoy the nicotine buzz that this gives me. And I'm going to finish off this pumpkin patch ale. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping. <laughs> you can't even imagine the 36 milligram throw hit what it feels like go to your local vape store and vape 18 and then feel that throat hit and then like double that that's what it feels like oh my gosh